transform your trading journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, folks, but before we review the stock market, I want to cover the positions that we have for our 24-7 traders that get the videos and the newsletter. We bought the down here at 559. We've now rallied up to this level right here. This is a four-bagger, folks. We were risking five cents. We've now made more than 20 cents on this. I will show you the – you can see the 382 off of this high was hit this morning. But if you look at this on a little smaller time frame, you're going to see a perfect APCD pattern right here at the same level. Let me just draw this in. There's your X point ABCD coming in exactly at 1.618. Okay, now there's where the 382 was made. Now you can see the market's backed off. Now it's rallied back up. Now I personally think it's going to have a hard time getting through this, but the key here is going to be this level right here. The reason for that is because if you measure from your low right back here, it stopped right at the exact 382. So this puppy is still bullish unless it takes this out. But the profit objective was reached, and so when those are reached, you know you're not you're not shooting for the moon on some of these. You're well, some of them you are. Sometimes you get lucky, but anyway, that's what we're watching uh, right here. The other one, of course, is the British pound. British pound. We've had a little bit of a rally. We recommended today on the video that we had another A B C D pattern forming here. We're right up to this level right here, folks. We'll just draw this in so you can see it. I put this in here, and this is you know several days. This is five or six days to reach that we went right up to the 07707 there's your abcd and it immediately dropped 100 pips and it's just you know still hanging in that area you know but if we start getting above here and boy folks we're showing from 130 excuse me from 140 110 so this has got a huge profit we're assuming it's going to go lower and again that's an assumption that we don't want to uh, always stick to because sometimes they're wrong. All right, let's look at the stock market. Okay, here's what we're going to look at right here. I told you the picture of the stock market before with a three drive to a top pattern. Okay, that was way, believe it or not, you're not even going to believe it. If there's, this is 60 minute, hello operator. There it is right here. 3570, I believe. Yeah, 3570 was the number right there. That's where we went short. You remember that was a quadruple, a uh, 1.618123 drive to a top pattern. And as you can see, we've been going down. Look, look at the rally here, folks. Stop and think now, folks. This has dropped 1,300 handles, and all it's been able to rally is three. Hello, operator. What's wrong with this program? This is a really bearish market, folks. Something bad is coming. You might not think it's coming, but it's coming. And I don't know if I'm right or not, but like I say, I'm often and often wrong, but never in doubt. So that's the Dow Jones. Now we'll get this out of the way here. And next one we're going to look at here is the NASDAQ. Now this is the NASDAQ, shorter term, of course, but we're going to look at it here on the hourly so that we can see that we've had a huge rally up in here. Get this up here. Move this around, get rid of all these old lines that I don't need anymore. And you'll see the old high that we had way back here was 2010, if you remember, or excuse me, 21,000. We haven't reached there, but we've shattered all of these levels here. Now, all we had this morning was a big break. And these have, these have hit these numbers like you can't believe. There's your 382 from yesterday right there. Perfect A, B, C, D, right on the money. Just draw that in so you folks can see it. And, of course, we had the big rally after that. There it is right there. Uh, oh, it's a 50%, not 382. And then today's low uh, was exact 786, I believe, almost spot. Uh, so let's make that a 786. I know it's it's halfway between. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's halfway between the 618 and the 786. We had a pretty good rally from that level. And we'll just see what that rally was. 
on a shorter term basis because it was pretty substantial. You can see here after we made the high, we rallied up, looks like, to the 61% retrace level. Yes, we did right on the 618, and now we're making some lower tops in here, suggesting that for the short term, it looks, looks like it, we're moving down on the short term. Okay, now the next one we're going to look at here is the S&P 500. Now, this is since the top was made way back here on the 18th. Remember, that's when we went short to Dow, right back there on the 18th. And here's where we are right now. We've had an A, B, C, D, D upside, stopped at the exact 786. Yesterday's low, exactly, I believe it was right on almost in the exact 618, as I recall. There it was right there, 618. Couldn't even take out the previous day's low. And then guess what it did today, folks? Believe it or not. Those of you, put out the little placard, Johnny. We deserve this one, okay? We're going to just draw this little puppy in. There's A, there's B, there's C, and there's D. At 587, the high was 591, and it broke all the way down to 45 handles and then right back up again. So <laughs> these markets, when they move, they move very, very dramatically. And now we're going to like, take a look here at the Russell. So let me get ready here. If I can find it, I've got a lot of things to cover today. And here's the Russell. What we're going to do now, this is the Russell here on a shorter time frame. But what we want to see is what's happened. We've had a big move here from last night. You can see here, there was a let's draw these in. You can see, look at these higher bottoms. See the higher bottoms that we have in here? Now we've completed something up in this area right here. If we look at that, you're going to see a multiple ABCDs here. And you'll see here's one right here. There's A, B equal CD. Now, I wonder if that CD means anything. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a quick look at it on the daily and see it. There it was right there. That exactly 61%. We correct the data here. And we're going to see if it's exactly 61%. But I can tell you that, that it is because I was watching. Hold on a second here. I'm sorry for my throat, folks. I've got a little bit of a problem. There it is right there. The number went to 75. The number was 2271. And we could easily, you know, it's only six, seven, nine points away. We could easily go a lot higher than that. But stop and think, folks. This has rallied for one, two, three, four, five, six days and can't get above the 618. That's not a bullish sign either. Okay? So that's what I'm looking at. I don't know who's going to win the election. And frankly, nobody, uh, nobody knows for sure either. All I can tell you, these charts are not looking bullish. Some charts are looking pretty bullish. But the overall indices, in my humble opinion, is about as bearish as it possibly can get. All right? Now, let's take a look at another one that we sent in the video last night that I thought was pretty cool. Here's a crude oil. And everybody was talking about the crude oil and where is it going to go. So all we did is we had this chart out, the hourly chart. I'm going to correct it from where I sent it out because it's on a video and I didn't put that on the same program. But you can see here, I said, watch for the 382 right up here at 68.91. The high was 69.02. Uh, excuse me, 69.04. And now we backed off a half a buck from that level. And if you looked at it real close, which we did do on the video because this was an hourly chart, this was our first possible positive movement in crude oil because you had a nice run up here and then for three hours it backs off and where does it back off to boys and girls 382 where does it go to 1618 boy this stuff is really hard to figure out in it only trouble is you got to put the orders in That's steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago and the student has now become the master Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. 
Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening Call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Okay, folks, we're going to cover the metals now. The silver uh, has had a dollar twenty break this morning, stopped exactly at the 78% level of the low that we made back here on the 25th. And we've rallied a little bit from that. Well, we've driven more, we're about 50 cents higher, which is pretty good. I'll do gold last, but I want to do platinum in here because I don't trade platinum, but I know that several people were trading it today because I always talk about to sell the week. Oh, dear. I'm going to have to bring it up again. Hold on one second, folks. I've got to – I don't want to get too many of these things on here. I'll be more confused than I already am, so hold on. There's a chart of uh, platinum, and as you can see here, platinum has had a big break here uh, to the downside. If You you can see here the, the different ABCD patterns that were in here. This was the, the really big one. It was the same one we were seeing in gold and the also in the – in the silver, but the platinum really broke with virtually, well, it had one little little tiny burp of a rally there, but that's not even 3A2 off of anything, so it's acting pretty uh, pretty nasty. Okay, now let's get this out of the way, and what we're going to do is we're going to spend some time here uh, on the gold market because uh, uh, I think it's worthy of our attention. Probably doesn't mean very much, but this is the, uh, I want to show you that this morning here, uh, first of all, uh, if you like ABCDs, and we usually do here, this morning, I'm gonna, I talked about this in the video, but there's your ABCD leg right here. That was down exactly, folks, uh, 18 cents, eight, excuse me, $18, right there, uh, right on the money. And uh, there, this high was 18, 17.01, so it was $19. Harmonic number is 18. Now, we've had a pretty good rally up, but I want you to pay close attention because in the video last night, I pointed this out. I'll bring it up here because I kept a copy of it so that we could see it. This is the what I called last night. You see, we went right down to this level right here, which was an exact 3A2 of the low that we made here yesterday. That was yesterday's low. At 58, we rallied 42 handles, and then we came down 19 handles from the high. It stopped, and now we're back up to this level right here. But we need to look at it really closely. So that's what we're going to do right now. We're going to move over to the hourly chart, and believe me, folks, this has got a chance of uh, going to the moon, so we got to be careful here. Now, this is the long-term chart here going back quite a ways. You can see here back many, many moons, and I just want to bring it up to where we had a major correction, okay? All right, the last time this goes back ten a week, we had this move right here, rallied up 
to the exact 1.618. You remember that from the Dow Jones? Remember that was the first one? Then the market came down. Okay, then it started its rally, A, B, C, D. Here's the one that's got it into a little trouble yesterday. We sold it at 63, and you see we went up to 70. Look, it backed off. Look at this. A half a day it backed off, and all it could do was make a perfect – let me draw this in so you'll be able to see it – a perfect 382 off of this low right there, I believe. Oh, no, it's off. It is off of this one right here, the, the secondary low. And, and if you'll see again, that would be the same thing. It backed off. Guess what, folks? Twenty bucks, right at the near, right near the harmonic number. And, but here's the 382 off of this, and that was also coming in at that same point, right there. You'll see it hit there within one dollar, one, two, three times, and then of course it has the big move up. And here's where we are now. Why I'm bringing this to your attention is watch this number right up here, folks. Between eight. Uh, 2002, and we're really for only four bucks away. 2002 to 2004 should be the top of this because if it's not, and if it's not, it can go a long way. There's the pullback this morning. You'll be able to see it right here from your low. Went right to the 382 again. You can see it within two dollars at the exact 382. So there's nothing bearish about this. And I'd be really careful doing that up in here. But this is the strongest of all the three metals. The others are looking very poorly, but not gold. Gold looks pretty good. So you don't want to stand in front of that freight train. But just watch this level. Because someday in here, and believe me, folks, I don't know when it's going to be, but uh, we are looking at uh, one of the largest moves. And we're, there's what I thought the old high would be at 27.05. Of course, it backed off about 40 bucks from there, but here's where we are now. We're almost at that 18, uh, 2010 right now. We're at 99. Let's just watch it as it's happening because there's where we're going to be here pretty quick here at 2802. So the old high here was uh, 2801. Uh, 70. So we're only a dollar and a half away. Wow, that's that's a heartbeat in the silver mar or gold market. So we're most probably going to get that and just continue uh, going higher. And maybe it'll pull the others uh, up with it. But right now, that's what we're looking at here uh, in the uh, in the gold market. Okay, now a couple stocks that I've been asked to check on as usual. First one was going to be Apple. I I heard on the news that it was down on the day. Why, I have no idea, but I can see that it is down on the day today. Must be some news. We had a little bit of a, you know, s small ABCD, and now it's moving down uh, quite a bit. Well, not very much. It's down about $4. That's nothing in Apple. Now let's take a look at s Tesla because it was approaching that 382 yesterday that it really needed to hold. And we'll get that up here and let you folks take a quick look at it. And it looks like it might have. Let's just double check. No, it hasn't even come close. No, not even not even in the ballpark yet. But we'll see. There's the low right here. And the 382 has got to come in uh, right down here near where the gap is at the 250. We're at 261 right now on a little short term. You can see there's a, a little sell signal on an intraday basis. We'll just get this refreshed so we can see it clearly. There is what I wanted to see. Move this over just a little bit. Now, this is short term, but that's how things work. There's your ABCD leg. Looks like it's exactly at the 382 here today. That would have been a, if you'd like to trade, yeah, there it is right there. And if you drew in the pattern, you'd be able to see, you know, there's where you are. Remember, folks, these patterns, they have a tendency to work about 60 to 65% of the time. But the key is that the payoff that they have is much better than if you uh, were, were to just roll the dice, I mean, my goodness, you can see that these patterns, they don't work all the time, but my goodness, they, they work some of the time, and therein lies the, the key. Now, I've also been asked to look at two other stocks. The first one is Caterpillar. It happens to be related to the grains, which we watch quite a bit, and CAT is right there. And, yeah, boy, it did have some bad news, I guess. Son of a, well, it's come back like a rocket. That's pretty good. It's come back very strong. Look at this. This is uh, the news was bad, but this is why the stocks have rallied so much. Look at this. This thing came all the way down. Let's see what that number was. Oh, it's easy to figure it out, isn't it? You think these guys don't know these numbers on Wall Street, folks? Give me a break. Okay, that's the that's this level right here. Could it be the 382 off of that whole thing? I don't think so, but let's just double check. <clears throat> <laughs> 
but maybe it means something, maybe it doesn't. There's a 382 off the low that made in August, folks. It's rallied from 65 to 82. That oh, it's actually been up higher. You see, it went all it went all the way up to after hitting this number. Look at it. It misses it by 10 cents. Whew. No wonder these things are so exciting to look at. Shut the front door and raise the rent. Okay, the next one we're going to look at is the emerging markets. Hold on one second. We have a friend over in uh, uh, Singapore that happens to be trading these quite a bit. We've had this big move in the emerging markets, mainly due to the China thing, and now we're starting to back off. You'll see that we are very close to the 382 of the load that we made back here in August. Okay, you can see there's your big run-up that we had here. We had a little three-drive pattern right there. The market backed off, and we've got an ABCD forming here right at the 382. So this is going to be a place to really pay attention. So let's take a break here. 877-927-6648-4414. Steve Rhodes cents started his trading we'll career right. as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. This portion of Trade What You See is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Okay, folks, we'll get back to watching this. Uh, the goal, because we're, uh, what the hell? Sarah, answer this God. I'm sorry, honey. I believe it's the dental thing, sweetheart. I'm not sure. 
Sorry. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Got dental cleaning coming up. Okay, here's where we are. There's the old high uh, right back up into here. And if we look at this on this longer longer term basis here, let's move this over. You'll see that we're almost there right now between 2202. The, there's the old high right there. We're almost take that out. But watch uh, 2804. That's the 1 1.2 step and expansion of all this. And folks, if we get above here, you know, it's going to go probably a lot higher. But my goodness, platinum and, and, and look at silver. Silver can hardly hardly is upticking look it's hardly upticking more than a penny or two at a time when gold is uh you know getting ready to blast off on volcanic action so that's where we're watching these numbers remember when they fail boy they fail pretty bad so just remember that these they don't always work but uh want to pay attention to it let's take a look here at the gdx someone's asked that question I haven't looked at this in a very long time but it should be going to the moon like everything else there's the daily on it right here, and uh, wow, it's down. Believe it or not, we got gold making new highs, and this is down for how many days now? One, two, three, four days. Wow, the gold miners are not having much fun. But there's a there's a nice three drive pattern here too. Also, there's drive one, drive two, drive three. We'll see. Put that in there. We'll be able to see where we are right here, and that's a three drive pattern in the. Uh, in the gold market and you can see it's been following these highs pretty much all along so <clears throat> the gold miners are telling us maybe there'll be a little bit of selling coming here when we hit that O2 number which is going to be in just a heartbeat <clears throat> okay just a second folks we'll get this <clears throat> out of the way here and one other question that someone had was about the meat markets because we had a bad trade well not a bad trade we had a trade that didn't work it's a lot of those let's get the December cattle oh god oh, got it boy oh, did it ever not wow look at this folks here's where we we had the short right there and it got stopped right after the opening the loss was about eighty dollars to a hundred dollars at the worst because our sell was was right up into there right there because we were selling the night before if you remember we said we got to get ready to do this well the market opened there on your sale so you would been out of it with your heart with the stop about 120 bucks right away and look at look at it now it's just off to the races whenever you see something that gaps above the 60 gaps above it the 61 percent retracement boy don't stand in front of that because that means it's going to go probably a lot higher just for kicks and giggles you can see there's your remember this is a daily hog chart so we'll be able to draw this in there's your a b leg right here uh, here's your c d leg right there and it comes in. Of course, you got a gap here, so you got to make a little adjustment. So that little adjustment probably take us up to this level, 44. But let's spread this out a little bit more to see if there's anything way back here that could get. Oh, it is exactly at a 1.27. I'll be darned. I don't know. I don't, I don't think I'm going to mess with that uh, just against that 127 because this is pretty strong. But right now, uh, well, it should give us some resistance. Look at this on a little smaller time frame. No, I'm not going to touch it, but it's at a real important level. Uh, that doesn't mean it's going to – I'd wait a day or two and then possibly, you know, resell it because this is pretty strong, and I don't want to don't want to really mess with that too much. Okay, now let's get back up here, and someone asked a question about the crude oil market. Again, let me get this up here. All I can do is – I can, can't follow everything, folks. I follow the things that I think have low risk potential and stuff like that that are in the news and of course with crude oil this is the last few days remember we had the situation where they changed the rules over in uh, uh, over there in Egypt or wherever Saudi Arabia there was your 382 right there okay the 1.618 come in at 69.14 this came in at 69.04 it's now down $800 from the high now that's just and remember we, we measured the ABCD on this one also and some of these you got to do yourself, but if you know you can't trade everything. But if you're following certain things, like you're following one stock index, and you're follow, I haven't even looked at bonds. We'll do that in a second. But there's the there's the ABCD. There's your three eight two. There was your rally right up, spot on. So, okay, now let's take since we're talking about the bonds, let's get these over here. This is a, this market's got big trouble. Wait till you see what happens when the election comes on this puppy because the people think that people are going to come out buying and borrowing our stuff here. We should be in a rally mode, but boy, it ain't much. Man, look at this thing. This has no friends, folks. Look at this. This keeps dropping and dropping and dropping. Look at this. There's virtually no rally. Let me, let me correct the refresh the 
charts. See, there's a, there's the last rally. Let's just just to show you how markets repeat. Okay, if you like trading bonds, and a lot of people do, the last rally was one, two, three days. This one is two days. Let's see if they were equal. You just draw the line in to see how much they rallied. They rallied just a little more than a point. Okay, and this one rallied. Right there, let's see if it was exactly at the 382, uh, the previous high. And there it was, right there. And it is already, uh, it's already down $600 from where you would have sold it. Looking at this on a smaller time frame, you'd see it easily. All right, you see it's already come down $600 from where you would have sold. In fact, it's been down a little bit more. That's where we are right now. Long term, folks, this, this is not a good chart. Oh, that's weekly on the December, and we got to use the forward. Um, I have to change that, otherwise you will not be able to to see it the way I want to. I've got to give it to the continuation chart on the weekly, so you'll be able to see it a little bit better. But you already have seen it many times if you've heard me talk. This is uh, well, we did hit the 50% level. That's about it, and I don't know if that's going to mean anything or not. That, that came in right there. That's 50%. You see the 382, and this one didn't hold it. Now, the, we got an election coming up. There'll probably be a rally in these bonds for some unknown reason. But, boy, whatever it is, try to find a good place to sell it because there's just – this has got so much negativity, folks. Look at this. This was the high. Remember? This was uh, – Negative interest rates. Nobody fell for that very much, okay? There's where we became super bearish right here, 2022. We were bearish there at the 382, but look at this one. This was the 382, a 135. This was the 382 on that move right there. And there's the second 382 off of this move right there. And that gave us our low right down in here. The problem is that we rallied, and look at this. It just couldn't even take out the previous month's low. We did it in, that, in the 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 notes but this one didn't that's telling these interest rate things whatever the fed's doing it's not working and that's the that's the key to uh watching what we're watching here so let me get rid of this i also need to put on the uh, uh where is the gold again i want to put that uh what is this one here this one is the we're done with this one here hold on i'll be right back i had to put the lemon winder at 02 on this thing because i want to See if I can get what pick one off here. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento. A pro's pro with over 50 years of experience, Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, 
charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Dot com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider funds investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, folks, I'm going to try to struggle through this last 10-minute uh, segment if I can because I'm having a real difficult time with my throat. You can see here the Dow Jones is starting to give up. It's already given up another 200 points from its high. Okay, you can see the e minis given up about uh, 15 or 20 some handles from its high, and the Russell is also moving down, as is the NASDAQ. Now, these are short term, but there's things out there that are telling us that something's not right, folks. So that's all I'm pointing it out to your, uh, to your, to your, to, to my listeners here, okay? And I, um, Al, uh, I, I'm going to have to end this, folks. I'm really sorry because my throat really is, is on fire and I'm not feeling good and I don't want to damage my vocal cords. So I'll catch up with you tomorrow. I apologize I can't finish, but uh, I'm just not feeling very good. So we'll catch you all tomorrow, okay? Thank you very much and may God bless. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento. A pro's pro with over 50 years of experience, Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019. 
finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. 185, you can go to 441.86 to start a gray, still a gray leg C in the weekly chart. Then maybe the MACD will actually cross positive in the weekly chart. That would give it legs for at least another week or two on the upside. Um, and that would be great. And I, I didn't want to, right here when it hit that 200 period moving average exactly on the 7th or 8th, what was the date? It was on the on the 8th. It went to 408.17. The very next day I was going to say, you know what, let's tra have a trading position because very often that becomes a springboard. It did before, back in September when it hit that uh, same 200 period moving average, it ran up all the way to four, the 440 level. So, but I didn't because... We're in other things. I just wanted to spread that money in a way that said we still have cash if there is a sudden sell-off at any point. Now, just back to what the market's saying. The market's saying it's thinking that it knows and is comfortable at this particular point with its selection of what it perceives or who it perceives as the winner for the presidential election. We don't know that. And one of the things that my this particular chart here is saying, uh, was it this one or that one? It was this one. One of the things that this particular chart is saying that, yes, you might have, oh, it wasn't this chart, it was that chart. Okay, let's go to this one right here. What this chart is saying is that, yeah, you could have the 11th of November as a matching time sequence, but that's a long way to go. You're at 42,377. And that would say you'd have to go to the 43,326, uh, I believe it is. Yeah, 43,325.10, one penny higher. And that gets you to a higher high. Then that could take you to the time sequence. And that's all it says. It's a time sequence. It's somewhere around about the 11th is where it should top out. I'm, I'm treating that as background noise. But what it does say, if that's the case, we might have to wait for a little while before we actually know, unless it's absolutely clear, uh, come Tuesday evening, Wednesday morning, that no matter what happens next, there is a majority of votes that gives one person a strong lead. And the market is only saying, right now, this is what we're thinking. And that could change on a dime. Uh, not a dime, on a dollar. Okay. So that's the point that we're looking at right now. And I've seen this happen. I've seen this happen very often. We saw that happen back in 2000 and was it 16 where overnight, no, um, was it 2016? Yes, where the market was down huge. And then by the end of the day, uh, the, 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 it just had screened to the upside. So... All I can say is at this particular point, that's what the market's saying. I'm always, always a little uh, skeptical about market decisions uh, because that can change, as I say, on a dime. So Microsoft is key because it's helping. Look, it's up five at 436.19. Not a big deal, 
but it is it is helping the Dow somewhat. Uh, we're looking at Caterpillar is hurting the Dow, and this is helping. And this this bifurcation is really important. What we're looking at right now. Okay, so now I want you to do this. Uh, is, is Question in about instant restock. It feels like every day we're walking on this ice with the roadway, taking the market down. Do you see an instant restart is possible to be buying the dip? So, Kevin, I'm going to answer that in a, in, a, in a moment, but I think what our strategy is being, I, I have no qualms at this particular point with the strategy, and I'll, I'll go through it when we return. We've got good stocks, and that's really the most important thing. The consistency you're looking for is closer than you think. One or two adjustments are usually all you need to change your equity curve from red to green and keep it there. Come join Larry Pesavento live to learn what separates the winners from the losers. Join Larry Pesavento on the second and fourth Friday of every month for three hours of live trading from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Eastern time, where Larry will show you the market setting up and most important of all, the state of mind of a winning trader. By watching Larry trade, you'll learn the Fibonacci levels. You'll learn how to apply A to B to C to D trading patterns. You'll learn trade management, pattern recognition, and much more. Join Larry October 11th and 25th for more live trading. Trading action. Your purchase goes towards two sessions, so make sure to sign up now so you don't miss a chance to sit next to Larry as he trades the market live. For all information and to reserve your spot today, go to the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk. So why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi, right, folks. So let me just do this real quick here, but I'll spend a lot more time tomorrow. In my, in, or Friday is what we call Technical Friday with Chapman Methodology. I'll get more into it. You see this leg A in the um, weekly chart, single leg A to the upside, and you see this lowercase h that goes to a lowercase m uh, in the monthly chart. I have to talk about that and spend a little time, but here you've got a peak F with a doji candle high. Two dojis actually, silent doji and a regular doji right there, and today there's a red candle. Dow's, uh, the uh, dollar's down 19 ticks at 104.08. What I'm looking at here is that the strength of the dollar and it's got a 9p moving average i gotta wait for friday at four o'clock so far it's crossed l that means it's it's uh, the nines crossed over the 14 after a severe decline so it's really important because if you put this together eur usd look at the exact opposite with a little bit of a bounce now in the euro trying to rally 
off. It is a fib number, but that's not the point. Point is, it's trying to get to the 1.08 area where the 200 period moving average is. Look at the USD JPY. Uh, it's the exact opposite. You've gone to a two, three doji candles G, but all the technicals like the dollar are still very strong. So I need to talk about it, and I'll talk about levels rather than say, oh, what's going to happen? I'll tell you what will happen if certain levels are taken out. That's the best way to do it. So with that, uh, with that said, uh, let me just look at the, the market and say, this is what I'm anticipating. If by the end of the day, Dow's now up 140, it's given back a little bit, it's struggling for that nine period to, to get above that nine period. It needs to get to the 42,500, 42,500 to start showing some strength. But you see the rotation, all of a sudden the IWM well, is given back a little bit. But look at that nice candle, gray leg A, gray leg B in the week, in the daily. And it really looks like it really wants over the next two, three weeks to break into the 230s. It hasn't done it. It can spend more time in this rectangle formation. So there's a lot going on. And it's this rotational upper correction where as you get to highs, so something takes a breather, like Microsoft was messing around, didn't do anything. And all of a sudden it starts to lead. Maybe today it changes course again. 